Good morning. Welcome to Harbor Highlights. On today's show, we have an unstoppable tip and an interview with one of our teachers and a special report on puberty. puberty. This and more, so stay tuned. Good morning, Harbor Lights. I'm CJ. And I'm Lucy. We hope you made it to your new first hour of That Changed. Please stand and join us in saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Today is a fresh new start to the marking period. In last week's PBIS lesson, you had the opportunity to think about setting some goals. The Michael Jordan video talked about becoming legendary, which you all can do, but it's not just going to happen. You have to make it happen. <laughs> and it's not easy. <laughs> there may be failures and times you may not feel like working hard, but those are excuses standing in the way of your possibility. Think about the goal you set every day and what you are going to do to get you there. Last week we celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Day. One of his quotes talked about that you need to have something that is so dear, precious, and eternally true that you would do anything for it. What courage he had to stand up for what he believed in, paying the ultimate price. How much courage do you have to take positive risks that may lead you to greatness? For our unstoppable tip this week, we have one of our very own Harbor Light students who had courage and took a positive risk with a great result. Let's talk to Kylie. Kylie took a risk by emailing an author with questions about a book she read. Most people would just say, oh, why do they do that? They will never contact me back, so why did you decide to do it? I chose to email her because I thought I would give it a shot. I thought maybe she wouldn't respond, but that's okay. At least I took the risk of emailing her, and surprisingly, I got an email back from her. Um, she answered all of my questions, and she wished me good luck on the project that I was working on. What are some examples of positive risk that students face at the school? Choosing to do the right thing, uh, standing up for someone, and asking a teacher or a friend for extra help. Why is it good to take positive risk or do something you aren't really comfortable with? Well, there could always be a good outcome. Even if you don't get a good outcome, at least you tried. And that's really all that matters. A lot of the times there will be a good outcome, even if you're simply asking a teacher for help after school. The simple things like that can bring up your confidence level and then you can take bigger risks. What can you tell yourself if you get scared or think about backing out? You can always tell yourself that it is worth taking the risk. It is okay to be scared about taking the risk, but most of the time it will be worth it. If you're scared, tell a friend, a teacher, or a family member about the risk you want to take and have them give you support and that can help boost up your confidence level. Great job, Kylie. Many times we are quick to say, oh, that will never happen, but you won't know until you try. So take a positive risk. Go outside your comfort zone and find out the possibilities. Now over to this week's general announcement. Hi, I'm Keyshawn. And I'm Ruby. Here are this week's lunch specials. Monday, sweet and sour chicken with rice steamed sugar snap peas. Tuesday, cheese stuffed ravioli with garlic toast broccoli. Wednesday, cinnamon glazed french toast and sausage golden hash browns. Thursday, beef and cheese nachos, Spanish rice with black beans. Friday, Italian beef and pepperoni calzone, steamed cauliflower. If you want to go on a ski and snowboard trip this week, Friday, turn in your money for the bus to Miss Richardson by 11 a.m. on Thursday. The Purple Power Fundraiser Against Cancer is February 5. Order forms for t-shirts are in the office. Don't forget to work with your homeroom on the 30 Random Acts of Kindness Challenge. If you need to order a yearbook, you can do that in the office for $8. The Knitting Club meets this Wednesday after school in Ms. Dice Mushroom. This may be a great opportunity to take a risk and try something new. Bring or meet <coughs> new friends. If you set a goal to improve your grades, the best way to do that is to stay proactive by staying ahead of the game. That means start strong, study, and get that homework done right away. There are some people who would love to help in the 8th grade computer lab after school Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for knitting club and tutoring. You need a ride at 325 in front of school. Now back to the anchors. So, speaking of taking risks, when our video productions classes were coming up with topics for projects, we had a group decide to talk about puberty. We think they did a great job, and this is a topic that is pretty important to us because it's happening to us right now. They have some information to help you sort out all these changes you are going through and some helpful advice. Let's watch. Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan. And my name is Blake. And today we'll be talking about a very important subject. Puberty! 
Being prepared and knowing the changes that will happen to your body is very important so that you are prepared and not freaked out when these changes happen to you. Adolescents go through many physical and mental changes. What physical changes does your body go through? Well, especially with you middle schoolers, you're all going through puberty where you are all growing at different paces. Some of you are taller, shorter, wider, skinnier. That's very normal. Um, sometimes in high school, other people will start to catch up and start getting taller than you. Just go through all these changes that are unknown. Of, you're confused on why it's happening to you, but it's all related to puberty. You perspire more. You have to wear deodorant. It's very important to wear deodorant, especially in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade because maybe in elementary you didn't have to but now you're sweating so much easier. So it's important to keep your body clean and stay healthy. What can your parents do to help you with mental and physical changes? Well, I think parents can continue to support you, love you. Um, it's important for you to let your parents know if you are experiencing something that feels uncomfortable. Um, but just be there for you. Love and support. Maybe talk about what it was like when they were in middle school, and when they were becoming um, a teenager, like how that was for them. Um, but definitely be honest about it because if they don't know that you're struggling with something, they're not going to know how to help you. Another emotional... Um, thing that students might experience is they might become kind of overly sensitive about their body because it's going through a lot of changes. So they might suddenly think that everyone's staring like at their nose or something crazy like that when in reality nobody really is. But if they're sensitive about that body part they might feel like a lot of attention is focused on that. What emotional changes do you go through during puberty? Thanks, Zach. That's an awesome question. Because of all of the um, brain changes and hormone changes that are going on, students may experience a lot of mood swings. So you might go from feeling like super happy, confident, everything's great, to feeling down in the dumps and totally sad about life. Voice cracks, acne, periods, and personal hygiene are all things you will need to be prepared for. It is very important to have knowledge of... Puberty! that we can understand the changes that we're going through. Thanks. Thanks so much for tackling a topic that we have to say is a first for our Harbor Lights video students. So great work. Now over to sports. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Tana. Girls basketball tryouts started last week as well as boys swim and dive and wrestling. We hope that you all have heard about a record West Ottawa is setting right now. At the time of taping these announcements, our high school boys varsity basketball team is undefeated. There are home games this Tuesday against Hudsonville and Friday they challenge East Kentwood. Come cheer them on and show your Panther pride. This week Wednesday is College Apparel Day, so wear your college gear to support your favorite universities. A new teacher to our school this year, Mrs. Graham, sat down with some students a while back to tell them what college was like for her. Why is college important? It gives you a lot of options when you actually get to go to college. You get to make decisions about your future, and um, that way other businesses will be able to hire you. What was hard about college? College was difficult um, just trying to juggle all of the different activities because you had a lot of out-of-school activities, doing you know games and intramurals, and then also with all your schoolwork as well. What had you wish you'd known before you went to college? I wish that I had known that college was really a full-time job. I tried to work another full-time job besides college, and um, it really doesn't work very well. You get very overwhelmed and tired easily. So I wish I would have had more of a part-time job with my whole college career so that I could really focus on my studies. What do you need to be prepared for college? One thing that would help probably everybody is um, being able to get some good grades so you can get some financial aid in there because that's really important. But also just in general, um, preparing, like getting those basics done so that you don't feel so overwhelmed when you're actually there. Thanks, Mrs. Graham, for sharing. It's fun hearing about the experiences of our own Harbor Lights teachers. Thanks so much for watching our show. Check us out on SchoolTube and like us on Facebook. This is Six Hours' final show. Have a Have great, a great week. week. Bye! Bye.